Welcome Jamie Phillips, Kirsten Griffin, and Jennifer Scanlon to Parties Extra. I'm Helen Ford Wallace. We are at the Oklahoma's Video Studio to talk about art now. So it's coming up, you all, and it's just going to be Oklahoma Contemporary's fundraiser for this year. So tell us about it. Well, it's going to be a really fun and exciting night. We have a lot of things planned. So many great artists are coming. There's 23 artists this year uh -huh. that, are, that were discovered all throughout Oklahoma. So there are lots of different medium forms, traditional ones like painting and ceramics and um, photography, but then some other new ones. Yeah, we have this year for the first time, we have a tattoo artist. Oh my. Uh, who has, um, who has their prints. He's not selling actual tattoos, <laughs> though. <laughs> if you're interested, <laughs> Helen, we could hook you up. Um, <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. And, yes. and of course, we have jewelry. And I'm mm -hmm. wearing um, Stella Thomas, who is um, one of the amazing artists who works in the jewelry format. That is fabulous. And this is the most subtle piece that's in the exhibition. Oh, so no. if you come, there's even more spectacular works. Is that right? Yeah. Well, when is this? The 19th? Mm -hmm. The 19th? The and it's at the fairgrounds? 18th. 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 Mm -hmm. Friday the 18th uh -huh. at the fairgrounds. It's mm -hmm. the last time to have it at the fairgrounds because mm -hmm. next year we'll be in our new building, which will be incredible. But we're doing some fun things like having a, it's a, a form, a big, I don't know what to call it, an installation mm -hmm. that everyone who attends can sign their name and then we'll bring that over to our new building and it'll be um, exhibited over there, so that'll be a fun way to. And you're the kind of, chairman. I, myself and um, Aaron Johnston, who's okay. not here and this it, year. So you have, is it dinner or is it cocktails? What is it? Cocktails, cocktails. appetizers. Um, you know, we'll have music, different types of music. Um, in the beginning, we have the UCO Jazz Lab, and then we'll have a DJ to kind of pump up the volume from eight <laughs> until mm -hmm. you know midnight uh -huh. or um, till when everybody when everybody leaves. Um, yeah, it, we I, have. Champagne. We have champagne glasses. These oh. are the VIP. We did these last year, so um, this year's glasses will look a little different. Um, we have some other artists that will be doing graffiti prints for people to on take site? home. Yes, on site. Mm -hmm. um, and then photo booth and, and all of those fun elements. But these will be um, $100 a piece, and you get a special VIP line in order to get your champagne and a special, very nice um, champagne brand. So. Wow. And these are hand painted again from an artist in Oklahoma. I think you all have the best time at Oklahoma Contemporary. We do. We do. I mean, <laughs> the things you come up with are happy. <laughs> Some of our ideas, our ideas, um, we're discouraged because we come up with a lot of great <laughs> ideas. We wanted to actually have the graffiti artists going, but the, we learned that the paint fumes are not the best thing for people's wardrobes and purses. Yes. So we have to kind of uh, ratchet it down a bit. Yes. But we have a lot of fun, interactive things going on. Oh my yes, gosh, well, do, it sounds yes. great. Well, so are the artists there? Will they be there? They will be there on site. Mm -hmm. um, most, most of the artists of them, yeah, will absolutely. be attending. And the works are all for sale. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So 50% of the um, artwork uh, price goes to the artists, mm -hmm. and 50% goes to Oklahoma Contemporary to help us keep our exhibitions free year-round. And that's what the, all the proceeds for these all the proceeds. wonderful events mm -hmm. go to. Yeah. Exactly, to support you arts know, in Oklahoma. I mean, how did you all think of that? I mean, coming in free to mm -hmm. an exhibition is, is kind of great. Yes, we have. Um, it's something that's really important for us is that we are very accessible to everybody. Right. Um, everyone should have uh, opportunity to experience art. So um, we really, that's vitally important to us that we keep them free and they will be free in the new building as well. Mm -hmm. And the, ca the caliber of artists that are coming in next year when we get in the new building, are, is, are, it's going to even raise the bar further. And to, to make that be free for the public to have new works, you know, that are just nationally artists that are nationally known internationally known to get to come here um, it's very exciting I just feel like it's just gonna be big that's all I can say it is and so this is a fun way for mm -hmm. people to get involved in that right. to help us support the arts here and we'll continue to support Oklahoma artists so what art now is mostly about this particular show is mostly about um, all the amazing things that are going on in Oklahoma uh, and the artists that are here well tell us more about the artists 
so we have, um, as Kristen was saying, um, 23 Oklahoma-based mm -hmm. artists, so that's the um, important thing for them to be included. Um, this year they're all new, so this is um, one of the artists is Katie Henderson. So Katie Henderson is a very Oklahoma artist. She uh, traveled on a road trip all the way through Oklahoma and took pictures of all of the fun things, um, the people who created art forms you can see is this gentleman Nevada, put Oklahoma. together, yeah. his house all on his own. So this sort of uh, creativity that you find in far-flung places with people who are just, you know, driven by their own interest and passion. Um, so this is Alexis Austin. She is an artist who has been doing some really interesting things. So if you think of a usual painting, it's going to be on canvas. And Alexis is using other kinds of materials for her paintings. Some of them are transparent, like this one um, so she's painting on all kinds of interesting and different backgrounds uh, and that makes those pieces special this is Stephen Brerwood this is actually a self-portrait so if you see him at the party you'll be able to recognize him <laughs> right away um, he does very interesting things with um, portraiture and um, is uh, has a really unique take on his vision of the world and it wouldn't be um, an Oklahoma <laughs> art Oklahoma. exhibition without some Western scenes in there. So we have some rodeo scenes, mm -hmm. um, some beautiful landscape by Jeff Dodd, um, who is, that is a bull with personality, let me tell you. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, we have something for everyone. This is uh, two works. The central works are by Elspeth Schultze, who uh, has a background as a ceramic artist, but has been moving into um, these beautiful wood pieces, which she kind of combines uh, different materials they're gorgeous and very simple there you can see more of Stephen Berwood's work um, sort of an installation shot and the range of what he's doing Sarah Sullivan who is an artist that works both in very practical things like pillows she works in textiles and weaving uh, and also enormous things such as um, the mural that she painted so the mural is really the first time we've included something like that in our um, show mm -hmm. uh, so we have a lot of new fun things is that the knives three? also oh, a new, nice. I know that we're moving here <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is Justin Voigt who um, and, makes knives by hand in the old artisanal way with these beautiful um, cases that you put them in. Um, so there's an opportunity for people who are passionate about that. I know there's a certain collector group that really gets interested in these beautifully handmade knives. Or if you're a chef and you want just something wonderful to have in the kitchen. Beautiful. There's the whole show there that you can see. There you can see the ta far left is the tattoo artist. If you were curious, Helen, about mm -hmm. what you're yeah. going to do with a full back tattoo, <laughs> that's an inspiration for you. And Matthew Bearden's on the right. Um, who is a Native American artist that's based out of Tulsa, I believe. Um, and this is a new installation that I'm super excited about. You can't really tell um, just looking at the picture, but these are tiny embroideries. They're about the size of a quarter. Uh, and we had an artist who made one embroidery a day for an entire year. So we have 365 small embroideries, very affordably priced. Um, for each day of the year based on the circle. So this particular one is a moon landing, maybe it was on the anniversary of the moon landing, um, but we also have, I don't know, a David Bowie one. Mm -hmm. um, they, they were often based on personal events or anniversaries, so the day that David Bowie passed away a few years ago, for those of us who are Bowie fans. Um, and she's been inspired by various artists, such as Picasso. So um, that's a pretty spectacular installation that um, allows, it'll be a big installation, but you can buy individual pieces that that um, that you that are personally um, speak to you. Yeah, that yeah. speak to you. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, so uh, these have all been in place for a while. Mm -hmm. So people have had the opportunity to know what they might want. They buy, have. We've had purchase. the exhibition up for mm -hmm. um, quite a while. Uh, we I keep uh, extending the time frame every year because it's such a popular exhibition. Mm -hmm. So um, to allow people to come and see it. But if you do, it ends on the 18th with the party. So if you are going to the party and want to scope out what you might want to purchase, or mm -hmm. um, if you just want to come by and see the works, um, we are open every day from 9 a.m. until 10 p.m free, as I said, from Monday through um, Saturday, and then on Sundays we're open from 11 to 6. So are you going to bid on them? Is that how you do it? How, or just, it's, no, yeah. it's whoever gets there first. Why don't you talk about the pricing structure? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so <laughs> it is. Nice. Um, we have, well, we have three, three different time frames and three different ticketing times. Um, we have the VIP, mm -hmm. which is 6.30 um, admission, and then at 8 o'clock is the, the second wave. 
um, you know, anybody that wants to buy, we're urging them to get the VIP tickets or, you know, purchase a sponsorship, which also gets you that access, that early access um, opportunity. And then, yeah, it's it's a first come, first serve. Wow. Yeah, so. So you might want right. to stop by beforehand right. yes. and, like, yeah. figure out your trajectory mm -hmm. from the door to the artwork. That is very interesting. Exactly. Way to do that. Yes. Now, are you sold out? Not yet. Um, we're getting very, very close. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody kind of, you know, we wait to the last minute. I know, I mean, I do. Um, but we well, every year it's sold out. Uh, every year, yes. every year, mm -hmm. absolutely. I think we had mm -hmm. 600 last year. Mm -hmm. So, and this is our last um, fundraising opportunity before. We, I know we spoke about that, but the last fundraising opportunity before we move into the new space. So, you know, the committee and, and the chairs really wanted us to go out with a bang. So there's a lot of fun, fun elements, um, lights and the champagne glasses and the food and the beverages and, you know, the, even the wine was hand selected by the committee. We had a wine tasting and um, everything has been perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a hard night. <laughs> everything has been picked um, specifically so that, um, you know, we can, we can say goodbye and, and hello at the same time. And yeah. a People's Choice, you have something called People's Choice. Yes, we have a People's Choice Award, which is um, people can stop by the exhibition right now up until, I think, when Wednesday. Is it Wednesday. We're going to do it Wednesday oh, at noon, okay, I think it. we're doing mm -hmm. the okay. drying. Okay. So and um, the yeah. artist wins a prize. And the artist yes. wins a cash prize yes. and um, gives the opportunity for people to cast their votes for right. their favorite. Right. Well, so, um, and you've also had some gallery talks that I think yes. that's kind of yes. interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. You've done that too. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's very important for us to support and emphasize mm -hmm. the artists who are here in Oklahoma. And they've been extremely popular. We had them on Tuesday nights. We often have tours on Tuesday nights for people who are interested and they can find out more on our Facebook page or on um, the website. website. Is that where they get tickets too? Yes. These are all free. Uh -huh. Artist talks are all free. And then the website oh, is, and then for, the the website is yes. for the tickets. OklahomaContemporary.org. That's yeah. OklahomaContemporary.org. Absolutely. And that's okay. where you can get your tickets. Phone number? Do we want to? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can call and get tickets mm -hmm. as well. We're kind of urging people to go through the website, but absolutely call us. It's, um, you know, 951 it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to remember. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, your tickets will be gone pretty quick. I think we have less, so less than 100 mm -hmm. left, and yeah. so uh -huh. they'll, they'll all go pretty quickly. Well, anything else that new at uh, Oklahoma Contemporary besides the building and all things going on? <laughs> yes, lots of things going on. Yeah, we are. Always, I mean, we, yeah, always. we're heads are very much towards the new building, but we have one more show who is mm -hmm. an Oklahoma artist um, who is currently based in Brooklyn named Tatiana Fazaliza Day, and we'll have her first solo show that's opening on February 21st. Mm -hmm. So there'll be one more show in the fairgrounds building. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we currently have an installation up near where our new building is mm -hmm. going to be at um, Broadway and uh, 11th. and that's called Whiteout, and people may have seen it driving by. Um, it's an installation of uh, beautiful lights um, that uh, turn on and off in ways that create patterns and movement. So um, I highly encourage everyone to stop by and, and see that. Spend and time that with building that. is in progress. Yes. Oh my goodness, you can see it. If you go to mm -hmm. Whiteout, you can, mm -hmm. you can I, I, we like to go there and point out like where our office is gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> where the galleries are gonna be, uh -huh. we're gonna have the parties. So mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very much uh, has taken shape. <laughs> That's great. And your, your magazine's out, just came out. Art Desk just Art, came out uh -huh. too, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do a fabulous job of highlighting not only our exhibitions, but exhibitions around the country and the world. Mm -hmm. um, and other art forms, they focus on dance as mm -hmm. well and um, other performing arts. I feel like um, Oklahoma Contemporary is going to be world renowned, you all. That is the goal. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. I, I think that's happening. <laughs> Thank really you. Do. I really yeah. do. Yeah. do. Okay, anything else about the party? Well, just please come. Yeah. We're, we're, we're looking forward to um, having a wonderful evening uh -huh. with mm -hmm. all the artists there, all the patrons, um, everybody that's excited about bringing, bringing uh, finding the best Oklahoma artists and celebrating them. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, right. anything else about the artists? Yes, uh, we. I just wanted to point out for, uh, that we have um, uh, a lot of young artists this year, so it's a good time to find someone new. Uh -huh. uh, and um, that does mean that you have a slightly lower price point, so if you haven't started collecting yet, this is the party to come to and very, start collecting. Very reasonable. Yeah. The pricing mm -hmm. is very reasonable. That's good. So anything else, Jamie? That's it. Just, uh, you know, Please, OklahomaContemporary.org is where you can get your tickets. Um, again, the last fundraiser, the first party of the year, and the last fundraiser um, for Oklahoma Contemporary at the State Fairgrounds. Um, still the cheapest open bar ticket in town. I mean, that's $75. <laughs> Young patron ticket. I mean, you can't go wrong. Even, <laughs> you know, true. yeah. So that's, that's yeah.
we're excited. Well, thanks, Jamie and Kirsten and Jennifer for telling us about Art Now. We hope that everyone gets their ticket for this unique and fun party. We want all of Oklahoma City to support you in every way, as we're excited about your new art campus, which will be a world-class world facility for exhibitions, performances, and education. The next Art Now will be in your new home. What fun that will be. You all have the best events ever, and thanks for coming in to tell us about it. Thank you so much. Thank you.